Georgia Tech has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He sends this one deep, and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Virginia Tech's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they push him out at about the 47-yard line. They get good there on the toss play. Here you see how athletic he is, and as I mentioned, the speed to make defenses pay. Seven yard line. Second down. About five yards that time on the throw. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it and they keep moving the defense back. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. He's going to get some congratulations for that nice display of running. Normally, his job is to block. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Pitches back. Makes it out to about the 46. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. On the ground, left side. And he's tackled around the 41 yard line. From the 41 yard line. It's first down. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. play here by the fullback handling the pitch on the option and getting down the field to move the sticks. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it 
This is the eighth play of this drive. Now he pitches it. Brought down at the 24-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's a three-yard pickup. There was really just nowhere for the wide receiver to go after he made the catch. Great coverage on the play. Georgia Tech is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Georgia Tech's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down check the field. Three, check three, check Special three. teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. That'll bring up third and inches. Tackle at the 46. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Georgia Tech's got a three-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's tackled at the 44. Gaining two yards. Third down. Five wide. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the 38 yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He makes his way to about the 18. First and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. Lost the ball, fumble, and the offense picks it up. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Oh, 
Again with a carry. And he's stopped behind the line. No game. That'll make it third and 13. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Virginia Tech is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. They bring him down in the backfield. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Pressure. Passes it and it's picked out of the sky. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. They go to the ground game. Touchdown, VTech. Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 21-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Quick throw, almost intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made from their own 25-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Come on! I got you! 
got you, 88. I got you. Come to my world. We want it. Come to my world. Hut, hut, hut. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line. First down. That makes it first and 10. 10. 19. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And he's tackled at the 38. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. The Yellow Jackets are going to call their second time out. Second down and seven. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's looking for his man, and it's intercepted by the freshman cornerback. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. Virginia Tech is up seven. He's on the run. Fumble, loose ball. The defense scoops it. Touchdown, Tech. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Good open field tackle. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. We've played a half of football and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He makes his way to about the 42. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Tackled after the 
decent pickup. That'll bring up second and three. It to the 45 yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. First down. Larry, Larry. Oklahoma. They'll bring him down at the 44 yard line. From the 44 yard line. Second down. And now the ball is free. It's picked up. He's pushed out of bounds around the 47 yard line. Still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Nice run, and he's brought down. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Gets out to about the 31. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31. That's a great tackle at the 23. Here's the 11th play of the drive. the left for a nice game. That's a gain of six on the play. From the 17-yard line, first down. Blue 14! Blue 14! And they got him! Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. It's your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Play 13 of the current drive. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. That brings us third and 14. It's third and 14. Ball on the 21. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the nine. Number 11 brings him down at the nine yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Georgia Tech is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The Yellow Jackets continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. 
He scrambles. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 43. From their own 43-yard line, first down. some open field. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's at the 30. He's taken down around the nine-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. On play action, he'll scramble. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Pitches back. Here he goes. And they push him out around the 41-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Set. Blue 14. Blue 14. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Virginia Tech's up by four. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Watch the run. Watch the run. Set. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 42. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a game of 10. Larry, Larry. First down. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. 10 Boston. 10 Boston. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they bring him down at the 15 yard line. That's good for a game of 33 yards. First down. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Watch the screen! At 58 is a mic. Hut! 10 20! 10 20! Gets out to around the six. That's good for gaining nine yards. That brings up second and one.
That's 20. Steal that. Steal that. Steal that. Here we go. Let's bring it. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Georgia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He goes out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick pass. That makes it third and seven. stop around the 39 yard line first down 10 yards to go ball on their own 39 so an empty backfield with five wide receivers nice grab on the play tackle made around the 48 yard line less than three minutes in the game They really needed that one, and he dropped it. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it Second down, play. 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 48. No gain on the play. That brings up third and 10. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's level at the 32-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That makes it second and 14. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at about the 23-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. He makes the catch and has a first down. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Just over a minute left. Got an opening. And he is drilled at the five-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. That's a big first down for this offense. Remember, 
The clock is a big time factor here. They're driving late in the game, maybe to decide the outcome of the game. You got to keep an eye on that clock as you move the ball down the field. Defense and their short yardage packing. He laterals. Touchdown, and they take the lead. He makes the PAT. Virginia Tech to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Caught, and he's hit immediately. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Slides down to the ground. The Yellow Jackets use their second timeout. We have less than a minute to go. He's on the run. And down he goes at about the 45. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. The spike will stop the clock. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and ten. He lost the ball. They fall on it. And he stops the clock with a spike. This is the ninth play of this drive. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Going deep, lays it up there. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-20, Virginia Tech. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Georgia Tech played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.